On this edition, I'm going to break down and predict the upcoming fight in the UFC on Fox 4 card. The main event, five-round fight between Shogun Hua and Brandon Vera. Now, this wasn't obviously supposed to be the main event. Uh, I believe it was supposed to be Brian Stan versus Hector Lombard. Obviously, Brian Stan got hurt. Lombard's actually fighting tonight against Tim Boach. And uh, he was obviously, Shogun Hua was offered uh, the fight of Glover to share. I'm not getting into that. Um, but now uh, he's fight facing Brandon Vera. Now, this may not be uh, the best fight on paper, but it could actually turn out to be an entertaining fight. So I'm going to do in this uh, video, I'm going to break down both fighters and do my predictions. So I'll start with Brandon Vera. Now, Brandon Vera, obviously, he started with a, a wrestling background, uh, worked into Brazilian jiu-jitsu, kickboxing, Muay Thai. And uh, Brandon Vera, had, like, was supposed to be the next big thing in MMA uh, at, at the time, and he was a heavyweight, then dropped down to light heavyweight. He's a big guy for the division. Uh, I don't want to say he didn't live up to his hype, but it's almost like his, uh, I don't want to say his talent, but it's almost like he's dipped off a little bit. Uh, his, uh, he hasn't really lived up to the huge hype that was surrounding him early on in his career. Uh, but in regards to his skill set uh, in the stand-up department with Muay Thai um, and kickboxing, Brandon Vera has a 78-inch reach. He's a very big guy for the division, and he utilizes his leg kicks very effectively. I don't want to say he's uh, predictable, but uh, Brandon Vera likes to sit outside the pocket and uh, use his range. Uh, definitely a big reach for the division. He likes to sit outside and use his reach uh, with his leg kicks. He likes to follow through with the one-two. He actually leaves his chin exposed, though. doesn't really keep his hands up much when he comes forward. But um, he has outstanding power in his leg kicks, and he can most definitely, I mean, we've seen him dismantle guys with his leg kicks uh, Sitting outside the pocket, gets very comfortable with his reach. Then he likes to come forward uh, when he's uh, beating you down with his leg kicks. He likes to slow you down. He likes to almost chop you down with his leg kicks. Uh, will he do it to Shogun Hua, guy with some of the best leg kicks in mixed martial arts? Uh, that's that's a, that's a tall task. But uh, and so and he does have good power. Uh, he implements it well. And also in regards to the clinch, uh, Brandon Vera uh, with his with his long legs, uh, he's got good strength. Uh, he can control people in the clinch and uh, throws uh, very powerful knees in the clinch. And his wrestling game, he does utilize it. Uh, in this fight, I think it would be a big factor if he is to use his wrestling, especially against a fighter like Shogun Hua. If he could get down and impose his will against a fighter like Shogun Hua, that would be, a, uh, be an interesting fight, to say the least, especially in a five-round fight. So if he, he can utilize his wrestling. Um, I don't want to say he's uh, very explosive with his takedowns. He's definitely going to have to work against Shogun Hua. But uh, if he is to get into the ground, I mean, he is a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and he has actually very powerful ground and pound as well. He can posture up, and he can rain down elbows and uh, strikes from the top. He can advance guard. I want to say he has some of the best ground control, but he is a big guy for the division. He's very good at imposing his will. Can he do it against Shogun? Who is the biggest factor? So where I see Brandon Vera being successful in this fight, you know, it, He's going to want to stand. I, I think uh, he's going to want to stand, throw his leg kicks, maybe try and pick apart Shogun Hua, uh, maybe try and finish Shogun Hua, which is a very tall task. Um, but I think if he is to be successful in this fight, he utilizes wrestling. Now, he might, may not be the best of wrestlers for the light heavyweight division and in MMA, but the wrestling is an advantage, especially against a fighter like Shogun. If you can get inside his strikes, um, given your reach, but if you can get inside his strikes, get a hold of the guy, uh, avoid the strikes from the clinch, get him down to the ground. Being that's a five-round fight, if he can utilize his wrestling, this could be a very interesting fight. And I don't see him finishing Shogun Hu in this fight. I mean, Shogun Hu is absolutely, I don't want to say impossible to finish, but I mean, it's a very tall task to finish Shogun Hu, not to mention, let alone uh, pick apart the guy in the stand-up department. But if he is to be successful in this fight, I see Brandon Vera utilizing his wrestling ground and pound and taking this fight and winning it by decision. That's where I see him being successful. But uh, I think Brandon Vera will keep this one standing. So uh, that's what that's where I see Brandon Vera being successful in this fight. So Sh Mauricio Shogun Hua. Now, Shogun Hua is, I mean, outstanding fighter in pride. Uh, you always know what to get from Shogun Hua. He's always going to try and put on an entertaining fight. He's going to stand up. He's going to throw the fists. He's going to throw knees, elbows, punches. He He's always working for the finish, Shogun Hua. But I think the biggest question is, is Shogun Hua healthy? And uh, going to this fight, uh, I'd like to say that, I mean, certainly hope that Shogun Hua is 100% healthy. I haven't heard anything uh, bad in regards to his training camp or anything like that. So I we guess we'll get to see 100% healthy Shogun Hua. And when he when he is healthy, I mean, Shogun Hua is a deadly fighter, always going for the kill, like I said. And, I mean, his Muay Thai, I mean, there's very few guys that can match Shogun Hua's Muay Thai. And he's dynamic is the word that describes him. He has so many weapons in his arsenal. He utilizes it. He gives multiple looks, changes levels. He has very good hand speed and his leg kicks. I mean, he could throw him from absolutely everywhere. He could either pick apart your legs, the body, go for the face, and then he can work his hands. I mean, he has a good one, too. And I think what, what Shogun Hua is most known for is that he charges forward and throws the fist. He, he throws multiple strikes in your face, almost bum rushes forward at you. But, I mean, with technique 
and uh, a lot of talent, not just a bum rush. But, I mean, he overwhelms his opponents. He likes to pressure people. He can either get into a technical match or he can get in brawls with people, into technical strength matches or brawl with people. And Shogun, who is knockout power, I mean, the guy has 17 knockouts on his resume. He could do it both uh, in the stamp department. If he gets you in the clinch, that you could, that's like a Venus flytrap. If he is to get you caught in the clinch, Shogun, who is known for his knees and the clinch, and he can also separate with strikes and do it in the most devastating way imaginable. So Shogun, who I, I see him being the better stand-up fighter in this fight, but he has a reach disadvantage. He has a 73-inch reach in this fight to Vera 78. So I think that's the biggest question. Can he get inside of Brandon Vera's reach and put him out of his comfort zone? I most definitely think Shogun who can definitely do that, especially with his ability to pressure forward. However, could turn into technical striking match. So who knows what will happen in this fight. Uh, in regards to his ground game, I mean, Shogun Hua is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He has one submission victory on his resume. It was over Randleman uh, back in the Pride days. But he doesn't utilize his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu much. Shogun Hua would much rather keep it standing and try and knock you out. That's exactly what the guy likes to do. And he can he can use ground and pound. Whether he's going to get Brandon Vera down to the ground and use uh, ground and pound, I, I personally don't see that happening. I think he's going to want to keep this fight standing. So, And he, he can submit guys. Do, do I see him submitting Brandon Vera? That, that, I don't want to say it's a tall task. It's definitely doable. But I don't think Shogun Hua will want to be fighting this fight on the ground. So where, am I, uh, where, where I see um, uh, Shogun Hua being successful in this fight is uh, if he keeps the standing, gets inside of Brandon Vera's reach, and he's got to throw volume. He's got to throw volume. He's got to try and test that chin of Brandon Vera. Brandon Vera has been finished before via, uh, due to TKO or via TKO in his fights. You have to overwhelm Brandon Vera. You can't just... Shogun can pick him apart, but he's got to throw volume. And if he is to wobble, Brandon Vera's got to go in right for the kill. He's got to avoid the takedown. Keep this fight standing. Don't let Brandon Vera use his wrestling. So that's where I see Shogun Hua being successful. But he's got to finish this fight. This does go to decision. And Vera, for some reason, uses his wrestling. We could have a very interesting decision. We all know what happens to Shogun Hua when fights go to decision. You know, I mean, giving you people who thought that uh, he did beat Dan Henderson or that fight was a draw. If he did beat Machida the first time which most people did think, uh, go back and watch the fight. Um, so where my prediction lies in this fight, uh, I think I think Brandon Vera is definitely going to uh, try and come out and use his wrestling, even though I did say I think he'd probably stand. If he is to stand, he's got to fight his range well. Um, he's he's got to stay behind his reach. He's got to use his leg kicks. He's got to keep Shogun Hua at a, a safe distance. Um, I see him throwing his leg kicks. I see him maybe getting Shogun Hua down with the takedown. Uh, I don't see this fight going to later rounds, though. I think I think Shogun Hu is going to come out hungry. You know, he's coming off of that uh, Dan Henderson uh, questionable call uh, that some people think is a questionable call. I think he's going to be hungry in this fight. Shogun Hu is going to come out for the kill. He's going to be motivated. He's going to he's going to come out, throw the strikes. He's going to hit with bad intentions. I see him closing the gap on Brandon Vera in this fight. He's going to go with leg kicks. Then he's going to come forward with the strikes. I see him testing Brandon Vera's chin. He's going to he's going to wobble Brandon Vera. And he's gonna he's gonna end up being he's gonna smell blood in the war. He's gonna swarm all over Brandon Vera, and he's gonna win this fight via TKO. So I'm gonna take Shogun, who are winning this fight within the first three rounds on the UFC on Fox Sports card, and defeating Brandon Vera via TKO in, in the main event. And that's what I have for this edition. It's Kyle Delaney signing off. I'm out of here.